Well, ICC Cricket World Cup 2019, it's a semi-final. It's another semi-final for this New Zealand team. They have tapered off, though. Their form hasn't been great coming into the semi-final. Started the tournament well. Sanjay Mandraker alongside me to talk more about this. Sanjay, what are the biggest threats from a New Zealand point of view for India? The obvious one, of course, is Kane Williamson, the guy who gets all the runs for New Zealand, which is one of the reasons why they haven't looked as convincing as some of the other players. Individual brilliance at the moment, seeing them through. Yeah, well, when you look at Kane Williamson, he scores runs, again, all around the ground. But his rotation of strike throughout this tournament has been outstanding. The little run down to third man, the rotation of strike into the onside. He's been the most prolific batsman when it comes to turning the strike over in this tournament. What do you like about what he does? And, and how does he do it? Because he scores both onside and offside. Well, the backbone of a one-day innings is not so much the fours and sixes that you see. It's the ones and twos, and he's so good at that. And amongst modern-day batsmen, is such a unique exception in the sense. You see modern-day batsmen wanting to get forward, hit on the up. This is a guy who loves to hang back and play very classical, vintage kind of uh, you know defensive stuff. So goes right back, plays the ball under his nose. And that's why I believe India need to have Shami and Bumrah against him very early. Get that ball right up there for him to drive because he goes right back, plays very late. If they can just get him to come forward and get him to drive, that might be a chance early in the innings because class players can be gotten out Mm. only early in the innings. And teams have tended to block off that little third man run as well for K. Williams and had a a third, fourth slip in place for the most part as well. Well, one guy who's really impressed me throughout this tournament from a New Zealand bowling point of view, I know we talk a lot about Trent Bolt, but Lockie Ferguson and wickets through the middle of the innings. He's been the key. Great pace and getting good players out and just bringing New Zealand back into games throughout the middle. Does his pace cause any concern for India through the middle order? Four years back, duly, yes, because there were a few Indian batsmen who had problem against pace and bound. They didn't like the short ball, but this generation, they are actually more comfortable with pace and bound than the earlier generation. If you can get the ball to move a little bit off the pitch or in the air, however difficult that is, I think he should be focusing on that, not so much about pace and bound, because Rahul, Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, Rishabh Pant as well, they like pace coming out of the bat. If the ball changes direction, then they could be trouble. Yeah, you mentioned the word before about pressure. I think the modern day Indian player is just full of confidence. They've got a bit of brashness about them, haven't they? And I think that's what we see with some of these young guys. Look, it's tough from a New Zealand point of view. They're going to need wickets up front. They're going to need Lockie Ferguson in the middle. And when they bat, there's so much relying on Kane Williamson.